Impact Plus. Experience Impact Wrestling like never before. challenger for this title match. Massive, massive reaction for a man known as the Icon. six-sided ring wearing the championship belt that he captured last month. Big time match, big time event. We're gonna send it to Jeremy Borash, the official introductions for the Bound for Glory main event. When the bell rings, the man in charge, TNA senior official, Mr. Earl Hebner. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live from Irvine, California, it's time for your Bound for Glory main event of the evening. Introducing, first of all, standing in the corner to my right, he weighed in this morning at 250 pounds and comes to us from Venice Beach, California. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the challenger, the icon, Sting. <laughs> and now, Ladies and gentlemen, introducing, standing in the corner to my left, he weighed in this morning at 210 pounds and comes to us from Gainesville, Georgia. He is the current reigning and defending TNA heavyweight champion of the world, the phenomenal Well, I think the stage is set, Mike. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, now you got the goosebumps. Yes, that's sir. for sure. Yes, sir. And the mutual respect exhibited with the pre-match handshake. And this is one of those matches, Taz, that we have all been waiting for. This is a match that we've anticipated. We've thought about the pros and cons of this match. And it finally is here, AJ Styles and Sting for the title. And, you know, I think one of the important things for AJ to do to retain his title here tonight 
is not to let Sting's impressive bound for glory record get in, in his head, in AJ's head. I mean, you know, as you called Sting, Mr. October, more or less, uh, because of his success at Bound for Glory in the past. Well, how do you beat it? 3-0, and oh, the last three years at Bound for Glory, and in every instance, he won the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Oh. Can he make it a fourth time? High hip toss takeover, and AJ senses that he's got the early advantage and goes to the side headlock and going to try and wear Sting down. You know, also, Sting has the, uh, you know, as we said, the home ring or the home, home field advantage in his home state here in California, and sometimes that can play on you a little bit. But I think AJ's in the zone. Oh, wow, what a hip toss by Sting. It's pretty obvious. Look, Sting has got to see a lot of AJ. He's got to see himself in AJ. When, when, you know, years ago, when Sting, it kind of reminds me of we watch this match like, like a Sting versus a Ric Flair. Would you agree? No question. And you look back on that match, and I think you're talking about that Clash of the Clash Champions of the Champions. match. Exactly. Yes. Where it, it's really the match that Sting has said. It put him on the wrestling map. And now you fast oh. forward yes. some 20 years later, and you see these two guys squaring off, and you think of Sting in the position that he's in. And we saw it last month in a sense of no surrender. Whoa! Wow. AJ able to come back right from the apron, and wow. Sting <laughs> able to avoid him. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, he just made it look easy. Even Sting's impressed. What AJ just did looks so flawless and easy. That's so hard to do what he just did. I'm not telling from your experience, because I never could do that. <laughs> that was just sweet. Just that fluid motion of the phenomenal AJ Styles. You got a nickname like the phenomenal one. That You, you better be good. <laughs> and in his case, it isn't hype at all. No, it's, it's about not. substance. But Sting's got the size advantage. I think he's got about... Say about 40 pounds on, on, on AJ. I believe we said Sting went in. We said uh, Sting went in around 250, right. AJ. Yeah, about 210 about pounds 10. in that range. And the quickness right there of AJ. And Sting just kind of picking his spot here and impressed with AJ. And I'm telling you, that's got to motivate both these guys. I'll tell you, I, I remember back in the original ECW days hearing people chant that, chant ECW just like you would hear TNA fans chant TNA. That motivates you. I'm telling you it does. Off the slam, here comes AJ, going to go airborne and connects with the knee drop right into the head. Immediately goes for the cover. Sting able to get the shoulder rolled before three. And what a remarkable story, Mike, we've touched on in the past here. Now, you know, AJ Styles was going through some stuff in his life and wanted to kind of hang the boots up at a young age. And, and, and Sting motivated AJ to, not to do that. Stay in the industry. Keep at it. Because, and, like you said, Sting sees in AJ what he wants the future of this profession to be. I mean, Sting passing the torch to a guy like AJ, that's a good guy to pass that torch to. But I, I, I still do think it's a little bit of a mistake. Ooh, whoa. I AJ, still think it's a little bit of a mistake, Mike, that, that, that for that, just something like that, for AJ to give an opportunity for the TNA title to a guy like Sting. See, because Sting does have that thing. He's got a mean streak. He didn't yeah. succeed this many years without being, you know, a mean guy at times. But remember, Taz, it was also AJ Styles who said to Sting, do you still have that fire in your gut? Do you still have that competitive nature? And oh. we're seeing it right uh, here. Be careful what you wish for. As a TNA champion, AJ Styles, I think he's learning firsthand that Sting still has some fire. And still has the ability as well as the impact of that running clothesline after those previous times when he shot him off into the corner with just that extra oomph. Well, I think AJ just waiting to try to regroup here. Whoa, 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 look at this. The sportsmanship exhibited by Sting opening up the ring ropes. Well, if I was Sting, I'd drill him as soon as he tried to get in the ring right there. Boom! That's what I would have done, I mean, the, honestly. That'd be the difference between you and Sting. Uh, but I'm not an icon, but I hear you. <laughs> you know. Lock it up in the corner and yeah, quick. Sting goes for the leg, but that's quickness. Yeah, I was saying how quick Sting picked the ankle of AJ, but AJ just, you can't wait with AJ. He will attack quickly. But you are able to answer a move with the quickness and the impact that AJ just did. A fundamental, oh, a basic, oh, a basic vertical suplex by AJ. He puts a little twist on it, leaves his feet, little subtle things, little nuances that people don't see. How AJ left his feet on the vertical makes the vertical suplex more impactful. And 
this time. It's AJ with the extra power behind that shot into the corner as he just fired him in. Back first into the turnbuckles. You know, AJ, AJ you know, we, we've seen it the past couple of weeks on, on, on Impact. We've seen that AJ feels, we've ever heard him say it, that he's got something to prove. And I, I, again, that too I don't agree with. I mean, you're the, you're the TNA World Heavyweight Champion, AJ. You've got nothing to prove. I know Mike, you're taking a different side of that, but I don't know. Face plant by Sting. I think it's because of all the doubters, oh, Taz, that talk more about passing the torch than the fact that Sting won the title at no surrendering. AJ still has those doubts in his mind. I mean, it was a time limit draw with Kurt Angle on impact this week, so I'm not sure that he still has all those doubts taken care of. Well, if AJ's walking into this match with, without the confidence, then... Oh! Was that one arm? It might have been. Just it tossed him overhead with a back body drop. Well, if AJ is losing confidence, that's what happens to you. You get caught with different moves like that. Big, driving, nasty back drops like that. Not good for you to win a match. Now Sting just stalking AJ. AJ fights from his knees back up to the vertical base as they exchange. Off the leap frog, Sting comes off the ropes. Then AJ extends the leg. <laughs> perfectly timed, perfectly placed drop kick. And that's the veteran Sting. Realizes, gotta regroup here. I just got caught real tight with a drop kick. But well, watch AJ! Experience factor of Sting, one step ahead. AJ with the passion. Oh! Oh, oh, and the passion cost him that time because he crashes and burns when he goes right into the steel guardrail. Sometimes that's what happens when you have that youth. You're a little bit, you know, you get overzealous. A little overzealous, as I we was saying earlier. I mean, you know, you get a little bit, jump the gun a little bit. But oh, no! oh my God. How hard did Sting just nail that guardrail? I think he bent it. Look at the bar behind Sting's body. It looks a little bent. And how quick was AJ in sidestepping the onrushing Sting, and he went right into the steel. Look at the, look at the, the guardrail. It's all bent up. See it? And twisted it just with the impact of Sting going in. AJ going to roll in to break the count from the referee. Sting still regrouping. Well, I think at any time AJ wants, if he can get out, get out of the ring here and well, AJ, wow, you don't see that much. AJ showing respect. You don't want to go out there and get and get some steam on Sting. He wants Sting one on one, right in the middle of the six-sided ring. That's the key. I think AJ wants any any cheap victories right. here. Right. Well, you're right, man. AJ just wants to prove something. I think most importantly to himself. Quickness of AJ countered by the elbow of Sting, who goes to the power game with the suplex attempt. Sting's definitely got some mustard behind those punches and elbows. So does AJ. <laughs> You're not kidding. Oh! That last one really connected. That was shot in the half. Watch out! Oh. Oh, I think Sting maybe wanted to go for that Stinger splash. Ran into a back elbow by, elbow by AJ. Oh, that time got the boot up when AJ came right at him. And Sting up on the top. AJ's going to try and take him uh -oh. off. Whoa, whoa. What is this? AJ maybe going for a, going for a pile driver. Wow. Weight advantage of Sting oh, leads to that tombstone style. Pile driver and into the pin to no. Chip. No. <laughs> Boy, that's some resilience. Just when it looks like AJ is going to connect with the tombstone pile driver, Sting does yeah. instead. Well, he might and, be hurt. And the, the instincts. AJ might be hurt of Styles enable him to get the shoulder up before three, and I think it's a wise move to roll out. Clear the cobwebs, no. come back, first shoulder block, forearm shot, then the goes springboard. springboard. Oh, man, love that springboard for that nasty forearm. Here we go. To the cover, to the pin. No, not three, just two for Styles, another near fall. Backbreaker. Across the knee, into the cover. Go, go, go. 
Are well, you getting to that point in the match where conditioning is going to be a big part of what happens? Who's going to run out of gas first? Elbow to the back of Sting's head, but he's still able to reverse it and shoot Styles off. Yeah, another but AJ back elbow. gets the elbow up. Quick with the elbows. Look at AJ! Oh man, got caught. Look for that moose. Yeah, look, look, look how well he adapted. Reversed! Nice snap made a counter. Might have been going for that scorpion death drop. Oh, but there it is. That time yeah. he caught him with it. He got the scorpion death drop. First time, not so good. Didn't work. Second time, to perfection. Well, yeah, you're right. And I think the second time there was more momentum and torque behind it because Sting was spinning and moving and countering. This is wrestling. That's what made it so effective. This is this is there it is. Oh! Stinger splash in the corner. And AJ never saw that one coming. Oh, no. Scorpion death drop again. If Stink could cover, we could have a new champion. He's doing again at Bound for Glory. Two. Wow, you see that quick moment of Sting's eyes. A little shocked. Almost saw it for the fourth year in a row. Sting's got something in mind here. Go for that Scorpion. There it is. Got to make that big step. That long step across and then sit down on the hole. There it is, Scorpion Deathlock applied. Sting's the master of this. This is his deal. He's an expert. Can AJ hang on? He's going to tap it. What do you say, AJ? Huh? You give it up? No! Just think about the angle. No. Think about a couple of days ago on Impact. Kurt Angle had that ankle lock on, on AJ Styles for a while. We don't know what's going on with AJ's ankle internally. But AJ able to dig down deep and get that adrenaline rush going, get the power going in his legs, and able to block the scorpion death lock of Sting. Now that's impressive. Still fighting. AJ still fighting. That's his Sting. Put the old school here. I guess Stink could pick that pace up when he wants to. Clothesline, cover, two. Still not enough. Sting gonna go power now. Lifting up Styles, setting him up on the top rope, and gonna follow up as well. You gotta be careful with AJ on the ropes. AJ's at home on those ropes in the corner. AJ nice. with a headbutt surprise yeah. thing. Yeah, it's definitely so. Ooh, look, AJ can't even can't even climb to the ropes. There might be something going on with the ankle or the, the lower leg. And remember, he used the headbutt. Right, true. true to that. take Sting down, so maybe that's what just uh, really caused him right. problems when that, he was up that there. That could definitely ring your bell. Oh, Pele from the apron. Did he get all of it though? Pele, it caught Sting, but I'm not sure that it's the knockout blow that he expected. This Sting might down. be. This might be. Springboard into the splash, into the pin. Got it. Here is your winner, and still TNA Heavyweight Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Wow. AJ Styles retains the TNA. World Heavyweight title against Sting? What a match, eh? We talked about AJ Styles erasing the doubts in his mind. And I don't think you can question AJ as a champion when it comes to Sting. When you talk about passing the torch, AJ has just done it at Bound for Glory. AJ Styles has defeated Sting, and he has retained the gold. There should be no doubts in AJ's mind at all. Sting got to show much love and respect to the icon. Was that Sting's last match? Did we just witness history? Well, what a performance by both men. Certainly a possibility, I think, Sting. When when you hear what there you go. When, when you hear what Sting said, Taz, I, I just have to tell you, is it showtime for the last time? Something to think about as we see the icon walk away from the ring. Wait a minute, AJ's asked for the microphone.
Giants fan. Well, it seems like. All right, is everybody listening now? Sting, you've entertained these fans for 23 years. This is your home state of California. And this ring is your spotlight. expect to be back here right now because this moment is not about me it is about our new world champion but if I'm gonna lose I'm glad that I can lose to somebody like AJ Styles and if I can lose I'm real glad to lose at home Thank you, thank you. I suppose since I have this platform right now, I should probably cover what a lot of people have been asking me over the last couple months and especially at Fanfare here yesterday. But I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm not pulling a Brett Favre on you, I promise, but I was not. I was not prepared to make some kind of an announcement tonight. All I can say is, and this is not a big kayfabe teaser kind of an answer, I'm being real serious. I don't know if I'm gonna come back. But I'll tell you this, yesterday at Fanfare, some of the things that some of you people said to me, and the way you're reacting right now, makes me wanna stay forever. For everyone at TNA, we thank you for joining us on this special night, this very special moment. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being a part of Bound for Glory 2009.